Alright, so this was just a hint for you if you need it in your workbook. Feel free to skip watching this video if you don't feel like you need it. So question 12, two dice are thrown, one is red and the other is white. Um, in the sample space, remember that's all possible outcomes. So they're asking us to fill in a table to help us figure out what all the possible outcomes are. So on the red die, I could get a 1, 2, 3, 4, a 5, or a 6. And on the white die, I use gray, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or a 6. So if I think about filling in this table, my possible options here is I could get a 1 for the white die, and I have six different options that could happen with the red die. One, oops. One, two, three, four, five, or six. So this square here is showing me that I could get the red as a six and the white die as a one. That's one possibility when I roll these two dice together. So if you think about taking the time to fill in this table, I'm going to pause the video real quick, um, but you should fill in yours as well. So if you take the time, you can fill in the table, and this shows us every possibility that we could possibly get rolling those two coin or those two dice together. My total here is six by six, so that's equal to thirty-six. So I have thirty-six possibilities with rolling the two dice. So find the probability um, that the numbers on the dice are different. Well. That's going to be a lot of options here, but one thing we can think about is let's figure out where the dice have the same numbers. So that's 5, 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1, and the 6, 6. So those are the possibilities where I have the same number, and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ways that that can happen. So if 6 out of 36 have the same number, then I know that there's going to be 30 out of 36 that have a different number. If you put that into your calculator, you'll get 0 0.833. And again, another way you could do that is actually count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the different ways where you have the two dice landing without the same number coming up on both. So for instance, a 2 and a 1, or a 4 and a 2. Let's look at the next question. The number on the red die is less than the number on the white die. So where does that happen in the table? The number on the red die is less than the number on the white die. So the numbers are the same there. And here we get the numbers that are bigger. So let's find another situation here. A 6 is bigger than a 1, so that counts. That counts. So I'm looking for all the different ways that I've got a white die with a number that's bigger than a red die. So if you come through here and look, again, 4 is bigger than 3, 4 is bigger than 2, bigger than 1, 3 is bigger than 2, etc. You can find that those are all the possible situations where the white die um, is bigger than the red die, or other way to say it, the red die is less than the white die. So if I count those outcomes up, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's 15 possible ways out of the 36 total. And in your calculator, as a decimal, that'll be 0 0.417. Next question. Let's find the probability that at least one of the dice shows a 3. So what are all the possible ways that we can see a 3 on these dice? And at least one means it could be both. So let's see, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ways there for a 3 on the red, and I have 1, 2, well that one's already been counted, so I won't count it, 3, 4, 5 other ways that I can get a 3 on the white die, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so that should be 11 out of the 36. Remember, I'm not counting the one where the 3 comes up on both of them at the same time. Don't double count that. So you get 11 out of the 36, which would be 0 0.306. The next question, the difference between the two dice is 2. Oh, what's all the ways that that can happen where you have a difference between the dice that is 2? Let's pick up the 
half this color. So the difference between them is 2. Well, 3 and 1, that gives me 2. What else? 4 and 2, 5 and 3, 6 and 4. And then looking at it from the other combinations, 4 and 6, 3 and 5, 4 and 2, 3 and 1. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 ways that I can have a difference of 2, meaning subtract the 2, you have difference of 2. 8 out of 36, which gives us 0 0.222. Part F here, the white die is a factor of the red die. Well, factor, this is like, for instance, 6. The factors of 6 could be 1 and 6, or 2 and 3, because you can times those numbers together. So 2 times 3 gets me 6, 6 times 1 gets me 6, so those are factors. So, I have to think about circling with another color here. Factor of the red die, so the white die is a factor of the red die. Okay, so if my red die is a 2, 1 could be a factor of 2. And 1 and 1 would also be a factor. And I'm still looking, let me remind myself, the white die is a factor of the red die. Okay. So if I have a 6, factors of that would be 1 and 2 and 3 and 6. If I have a 5, 1 times 5 is the only way to get 5. If I have a 4, um, 1 times 4 would get me a factor, and 2 times 2 would get me the factor, and for the 3 here, 3 and a 1, and I think I've confused myself there, I'm trying to say white is factor of red, so red needs to be the bigger number. So let's take those ones off real quick. You can just leave them on and use a different color if you want for the other thing. Oops. Took a little too much off of that. Okay, so other way around. Um, factor for red. So if red is 6, I can have a 1 and a 6, and I can have a 2 and a 3. If the red is 5, I could have a 1 and a 5, or a 5 and a 5. For 4s, I have 4 and 4, or a 2, because 2 times 2 will get me 4. Factors for 3 would be 3 and 1, so 3 or 1 on the gray would give me five, be factors of, five of the 3 there. There I've got factors of 2 and 1. And 1 can be a factor of 1, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 different ways that I can have the white die as a factor of the red die. So, what did I say? 14 ways out of 36, and that gets you 0 0.389. Okay, so last two here. The total of the two dice is 9 or less. Alright, the total of the two dice is 9 or less. So coming up here, how many ways can I add these together and get 9 or less? Well, I could do 5 and 4, and that would get me 9. 4 and 5 would get me 9. 3 and 6 would get me 9. 3 and 6 would get me 9. And I could count up all of these. Um, but let's just see, sorry, it was a total of 9 or less, right? Yeah, the total of 9 or less. So all of these numbers from that line basically over is going to get me 9 or less. Because 6 plus 2 is 8, 5 plus 3 is 8, so I can just count these up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Another way to do that, which would have been a lot quicker, is out of 36, how many do I not count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Take away the 6, I'm left with 30. That will add together to give me a number that's 9 or less. So, 30 out of 36. 
30 out of 36 is going to be equal to 0 0.833. Looking at the last one, red or white dye is the number two, but not both. Okay, so I want either a two on the red or a two on the white, but not a two on both of them at the same time. So how many times does that happen? Well, I've got a two there. That's both at the same time. We don't want to count that. Another one there, 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 and there. And on the white dye going the other way, I have here those options there. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 out of 36. Which should give me 0 0.278. So the trick on these ones is really make sure that you fill in the table because it shows you all the possible outcomes. And if they didn't ask you to get a table, I would have no idea how to solve this problem if I didn't actually probably write out all the possible options for myself anyways. So they are quite helpful. And then from there, it's a matter of just looking for the ones you want out of the total possible.